Hi guys, welcome back to this week's Friday Facts. Um, this week I'm going to be talking to you about different types of rats. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean different types of rats? I thought there was only one. Well, there's diff there is. There's different types of rats. Um, I'm going to be talking about different um, like species, if you will. Um, I'll be talking about different ear types in our rats that we have as pets. Um, I'm going to be talking about the different types of fur coats, or, you know, or lack thereof. Um, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to try and touch a little bit on the different markings, but that's a little bit more tough because I don't have examples to show you, so um, I might put a link in the down bar to um, a webpage that will explain that a little bit more. Um, First of all, there are different types of rats. There is your your wild rat. That um, they're actually not the same as our rats like we get at pet stores or you know breeders or rescues or rescuers or whatever. Um, rescues. Gosh, I can't talk. Um, this is my third video I filmed in a row today, so my brain's like, oof. Um, so yeah. Um, they are a little bit different than what our pets are. Um, I'll put a, the names of the rat here, I think. Um, also there is giant Gambian pouch rats. Um, these things are really cool. They're much bigger than our rats. They're, you know, probably about that big. I think they average about five pounds, maybe. Maybe a little bit more than that. They're huge. Um, they're not usually quite as friendly as our standard rats. They are, and they cannot, they have to be kept alone, which is totally different than our pets. Um, but they're really, really cool. They look a little bit different than our rats, but they're still awesome. I kind of want one, but they're illegal in the United States, so... And they cannot be kept with our rats, our breed of rats either, so keep that in mind. But they are really, really cool. I'll um, find a couple pictures and I'll insert them now. So yeah, I think they're awesome looking. I would kill to have one, but whatever. It's cool. I just look at pictures on the internet. Um, another recent discovery that they made in Papua New Guinea, they actually found, I don't know if they've given it an actual name, but the video I found online, they just called them giant rats. And they literally look like our rats, only bigger. They're like the size of house cats. And these things are awesome. Like their tails are like huge. Um, and they literally look just like our rats, only much bigger. And the cool thing about these things is they're actually friendly. In the video that I found, I'll put a link to it down below. Um, in the video that I found, the um, explorers or whatever are actually walking up to them in the wild and touching them. Like they're wild rats and they just walk right over and can touch them. Like they're so cool. Um, again, I, I would definitely kill to have one of these as pets, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, but I would love to just like pet one. They're so cool. Um, so yeah, there are different kinds, believe it or not. Um, I'm sure there are other ones too that are, you know, kind of related to ours, but those are the main ones that I know, or at least I'm somewhat familiar with. Um, so we're going to go back to our own rats here. Um, <clears throat> as far as ear types. Um, there actually are two different kinds. There are Dumbo Eared and they're Standard Eared. And the Dumbo Eared have, they, I don't know that they're really any bigger, but the placement on the rat's head makes them look bigger. But the ears are kind of on the side of their head as opposed to on the top. Um, and they're freaking adorable. I actually have a Dumbo right, or two Dumbos right now, so they're so, I love them. They're so cute. Um, and the standard are just the ones you normally see with their ears more to the top of their head.
Um, there are different fur types, fur coat types. There is standard fur, which is just your general um, sleek, smooth fur. Um, and there's Rex fur, which is curly, and their whiskers are also generally a little bit pretty curly. Um, and there's like, um, there's weak Rexes, meaning that they were um, kind of bred down and they're not as curly as a, a, an actual standard Rex for a rat. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, there's also the naked rat, which is, as the term implies, completely naked. They have no fur at all. Um, and there is the patch, I, I think they call it patchwork or something, um, which they have some fur, but not a lot. I think it's the, they're double rexes, meaning that, um, they have some of their fur, but not all of their fur, so they're kind of patchy and fuzzy and weird looking. I've never had a standard rat, or a, uh, naked rat and I've never had a um, double rex. I have had a rex. Um, I'll include a cute picture of him right here. So cute. He, he passed away last year but he was adorable. I love that old man. Um, his name is Ben um, and it, if anybody out there knows me personally um, I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan, and he actually wrote the song Ben um, about, um, I think it was a, about a mouse, actually, but it was in a show about a rat, um, so I thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah, his name, that's where his name came from, from the song Ben. So I'll touch a little bit for a short period of time here on the different patterns and stuff that the rat coats come in. Um, some of the most basic are the black hooded, which are the ones with the white fur, and then they have the black head generally and the black striped on their back. Um, there's also the beige hooded, which is similar, but it's they're white with like a creamy tan colored head and striped on their back. Um, you can have capped, which means it's just their face that's colored and their body is white. Um, there is blaze, which generally has like two-toned and then a white blaze through their face. Um, i trying to think of all the different ones. There's obviously the pink-eyed whites, which is what everybody calls albino rats, which is the ones with the, um, the white fur and the pink eyes. Um, you can have just a white rat with black eyes. Um, you can have beige, you can have gray, you can have black. Um, you can have like a, an orangey cinnamon color. Um, trying to think of all the different ones. There's so many different um, fur patterns and stuff. Um, I'll put a link below of a website that I found one time that shows a good list of um, the different um, pattern coats and there's actually some good pictures there. Um, so I'll list that below in the, co in the um, info bar down there. Um, so I think that pretty much covers it. There's not really a whole lot of a variation, but I did want to kind of explain a little bit of the differences um, in case anybody was curious. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, um, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and you can follow my blog too, which is down below. Um, check that out because there's lots of good information there too. Um, as well as um, some stuff that you might have missed of videos I've already done on this channel. Um, so yeah, that about covers it. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you guys again next Friday. Bye.